welcome back to Mysteries with Pippa. It is so good to be back and just know that during my times where I may not be as active as other times, I am still so grateful for all the people that continuously follow me, subscribe to me, always want to talk to me on um, YouTube and Instagram. And I'm also pleased to announce I am now the new brand ambassador for Style Case. So please feel free to visit them. But if you do decide to get a case, please don't pay full price. Use the code PIPPA20 to receive 20% off. Anyway, without further ado, let's get straight into a case that has gone completely crazy all over my Instagram. So just in case some of you guys who don't know me, my name is Pippa and I do All Cases Mysterious. At the moment, I'm really heavily invested in missing cases and at the moment I'm doing specifically cases of missing people in India. The reason why I've decided to choose India is because some of the cases are a little bit shady, there is quite a few times where police haven't done a proper investigation, there isn't much information and it doesn't get the same recognition that American or UK or Australian cases get. So it's only fair to put India on the map. So without further ado, let's get into this case. This is the missing case of Rahul Raju. Rahul Raju was a seven year old Indian boy who lived in Kerala in India. And he went missing on the 18th of May, 2005. So Rahul was always known as playing with his friends in the neighborhood and would do so for hours and hours on the weekend. So this day was unlike any other day. Rahul went out with his friends from the neighbourhood and went to their local playground. Except what happened this day would change his family's life forever. The supposed story goes, and I say supposed because you will know as we go through this case, it just sounds a little bit shady. So Rahul is supposed to have wanted a quick break from playing cricket and left his friends and went to a nearby or like water public tap and while he was taking a drink there, a middle-aged man approached him. He was talking to Rahul and proceeded to take the bat from Rahul and threw it back to his friends who took the bat and continued to play while Rahul was talking to this middle-aged man. So the story goes is that his friends took notice of Rahul, kind of left him to talk to the creepy middle-aged bearded man over there and they continued to play cricket. However, some time had passed when apparently the friends had realised actually Rahul's not playing with us and they looked over by the tap and the water tap and he wasn't there either. They immediately ran home, told Rahul's parents who then contacted the police and the police immediately set out to try and find Rahul. Uh, very early on they questioned a man who actually met the description of the man that the boys had saw. He was a bearded, middle-aged and lived in the local neighbourhood. When the police questioned him, this middle-aged man actually admitting, admitted to killing Rahul and putting his body in the marshlands nearby. The police failed to find his body in the marshlands and they actually thought that this middle-aged man had lied and fabricated the story and so let him go. What is strange about this case is the fact that this man a couple of years later was convicted of sexually assaulting and murdering a three-year-old girl. So it does make you wonder if he was really telling a lie. So a year after Rahul's disappearance in February 2006 the local authorities and the CBI were under immense pressure to try and find out who kidnapped Raul and who possibly has them. For some unknown reason that I've been unable to find out, the police took a neighbourhood boy who was very young, only in his teenage years, and they subjected him to a polygraph test. They forced him to undergo narco-analysis testing and what this is basically is a truth serum test where they administer you with a liquid and you are more susceptible to telling the truth when being asked it. Both tests didn't reveal anything and to this day it is currently unknown why the police randomly brought in a teenage boy. They don't know if he was a suspect or if he did admit something, if someone had given them a tip or whether they were just under so much pressure they were bringing in anyone. So in the early 2013, CBI filed to have the case closed 
following the fact that they could find no evidence that everyone that they had interviewed was clear and that they just wanted to close the case. However, Rahul's father appealed this, saying that they did not do enough in the investigation, they have not done enough since, and so the up appeal was upheld. However, after the fourth time of the CBI appealing and trying to close the case, it was closed. On the 13th of March 2014, CBI released a statement saying that the whereabouts were untraceable and that there would be no way, there's no evidence that they would ever manage to find what happened to Rahul. There is currently a reward for 50,000 rupees for the person who has any information leading to the arrest of someone who might have taken Rahul. However, it is widely believed within the local community and the police that he was kidnapped and murdered. However, we don't actually know. So I'm afraid that's all I have to go off. The reason why I really wanted to do this case, just for the pure lack of information if you look up his name there's one article there's a little wikipedia page about him there's nothing more than that and that's really sad for however many years that they have been trying to solve this case they have no leads and what's strange is the guy who did actually admit it that he did kill him he has been now found guilty to have killed a baby girl. So again, thank you so much for another case of Mysteries with Pippa. Let me know what you think. Please do follow me on Instagram, Mysteries with Pippa. I do enjoy talking to all of you and I'm so active on that. I'm way more active than I am on YouTube, which is quite bad. Um, but thank you so much and I can't wait to hear all your responses and what you think. So again, take care. Bye.